Hello my fellow foliage fanatics. My friends call me Finchy and today we're going to be talking about some plants. Today's video is a combo of obtained in October slash October favorites. These are all my newest additions to the family and therefore getting a little bit of extra attention slash favoritism. I went to a plant swap this month and that's where most of these came from. <laughs> and I spent zero dollars. I guess the first plant I'll show you is going to be this one. So this lovely Adabap came from Pete over planting with Pete. He actually drove up and brought it to me at the swap. And I brought, I took him some plants too, but this is my Pete Adabap. I love it. I already bleached it a little bit, but that's okay. I accidentally shoved it right up underneath a light, not thinking about how it was just a regular green plant and probably doesn't need that much. But I love it. We already have like a nice leaf coming in, like it's a good size, and some aerial roots. I'm so happy with it. Look at it. I'm a sucker for a green leaf and a big leaf. I just, I don't know where, I don't know. When they get so big, it's like, where am I gonna put it? I love you. I traded a pink princess for this plant and when I got it home, the bottom leaf started to yellow. So I went ahead and unpotted it and it did have a little bit of root rot going on. So we're, we're kind of in rehab mode, but I'm not really super worried about it. I'm sure it'll be fine. But this is a tortum, a philodendron tortum. It has a, a new leaf, but we did have a little bit of a root rot situation. I already see some new roots growing now. Some of it is dark, but it wasn't actually rotten, it's just dark. I think it'll be okay. But this is the plant number two. And this is probably one of the weirdest ones that I have. Like, I don't think I have anything that's even close to this strange. Like, it's not what I expected in person either. Like, there's, it feels, way more stiff than I expected. Like, I don't know, it's, there's, it's so weird. Welcome, odd one, welcome. But this is plant number two that I got in October and I've been babying it. So he's definitely a favorite. I need name suggestions. I don't, I don't know what to name for this one. I think I'm just gonna call this one Pete. <laughs> What should, what should you call this guy? Leave me, leave me a suggestion, I would love to know. The girl I got it from's name is Jessica, but this doesn't look like a Jessica to me. And in case you haven't noticed, they're all sitting right here. So this shelf is gonna get progressively more empty. <laughs> I traded a piece of strawberry milk to this lovely gentleman. I believe his name is Jeffrey. And he gave me this little goose foot, which <laughs> I'm like obsessed with it. That is so cute. I like this one more than the scrambled eggs. Like, ah. It's just real pretty. I don't know. Big fan. It's very rooted in there too, and there's two plants. And I traded a piece of strawberry milk for this, and he ended up giving me he ended up giving me this too, <laughs> which I didn't actually want, but now that I have it, I, I really like it. It's a little dirty, but it's really cute. And he has, it just, it says Syngonium Pixie. I didn't pay $20, but it's such a full little dude. So cute. I think this would do really well in my Klingsbow terrarium that I'm making. Which I keep saying I'm making it. One of these days it'll be done. Okay, shelf's empty, so we're down to the last few. This one I actually got earlier in the month and I have since bleached the ever-living crap crapperoni out of it. I got this. This isn't a medium silver, believe it or not, but it is so bleached <laughs> it doesn't look like it. But I got this one for a friend. If I ever get around to mailing her a package, I'll send this too. It's got this crazy runner in it. So there's gonna be a lot of notes to work on and if I don't bleach it to... 
bleach it to the afterlife. Um, maybe we'll get, maybe I'll keep a piece of it when I send it. Uh, the other plant that I wanted to show today is unfortunately still in the mail. But I found it at the swap after it was over. Actually, my friend Jessica got it, and I was I thought she, it was one of the ones she was selling, and I was literally about to like try to buy it off her, but it's the one she bought at the swap. And it's called Summer Glory, and it is like a Gloriosum Macaulay Finale hybrid, and it had just beautiful dark velvet leaves with pink veins. Pink. I, I was like losing my mind and it was only $45 at swap for this like huge plant. So I went on Facebook and I found one for $25 and it's on its way to me, but I don't think it'll be here till tomorrow. And I still wanted to film this today. So I'm just gonna put a picture on the plant and just pretend this is my plant. Summer Glory. It's so beautiful. Pictures don't do it justice. They're so beautiful. I also just found out another plant that I have when it's mature, it has pink veins and that is an Ethereum brownie eye. Nobody told me that it had pink veins. Are you kidding? I've got to have it. Speaking of pink, <laughs> I showed this plant in my last favorites video, I think. And I just randomly cut the runner off in the video. I think it was the very end of August, I want to say. But I just wanted to do a little bit of an update. And <laughs> here she is at the end of October. We do have one yellowing leaf, but we have since I cut that runner off, she has given me this runner. This plant is crazy fast grower. I can't, I just, it's very thirsty too. Probably why we have a yellow leaf. But I'm not gonna cut it this time. I'm gonna actually like wrap it around and pin it into the soil. And I think in the very, very near future, I'll be giving her a pole because she really wants one, like really bad. But. I wanted to do a little bit of an update and show off on this insanely beautiful specimen that I have. Look at that! Ah. And in the spirit of Halloween, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for one of her babies. So I have this little strawberry milk baby that I'm going to be giving away. And all you have to do is leave a comment, trick or treat. That's it. And. I'll be picking a random person to win a little strawberry milk baby. I'll pay shipping and everything. All you have to do is give me your address. So just comment trick or treat if you want to win. I'm also, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of one of her babies. So here's a little strawberry milk baby. And if you want to win, all you have to do is comment trick or treat and I will pick a random person November 1st at midnight and comment, uh, I'll respond to you and let you know that you have one. So all you have to do is comment trick or treat. No, no other requirements. Just have a way to message me your address and I will pay for shipping and everything. So if you want to win this very well-rooted little strawberry milk, leave me a comment, trick or treat. I think that was all of the plants that I could show today. I'm also picking up a new plant on Thursday. I have a tattoo appointment and I'm gonna be picking up a variegated Adansonii. I'm trading a piece of strawberry ice for it. Technically I obtained it in October, I just haven't picked it up yet. Uh, I don't have anything to show for it though. So I'll just put a picture of the, the mother plant. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to get my babies. I also got this fella here. I also got that fellow back there. Carlos, come here, Carlos. I haven't actually done anything to him yet other than water him. But I got this <laughs> for $6.25. And he is miserable. He's got spider mites and he is was so underwatered that I watered it with a gallon of water and honestly it could probably take more water. But he's got spider mites, so he's just been chilling over here. I gave him a bath, but he needs another bath. But I carried it up to the, uh, I went to Home Depot to get something else and I walked past the plants and they all look pathetic. 
like absolutely pathetic and I was like I found him like nestled in between some monstera and I carried it up to the front and the cashier's name was Carlos and I had it like under my arm and I was like I get a discount on a set of plants right and he's like no only the vendor can do that and I was like you mean yes I'll take off 75% and he goes okay yes I'll take off 75% so that's why I got Carlos for six dollars and twenty-five cents. <laughs> Don't take no for an answer, okay? <laughs> All he really needed was some water and pesticide. It'll be fine. He's an aglionema. That's all I really wanted to say for this video. We're going trick or treating today, so I'm going to try to get this up very quickly. Don't forget to comment trick or treat if you want to win a strawberry milk baby. There will be more in the future, but we're just going to do one for now. I've got heat packs and everything, so. I'll get heat packs and everything. I got you. That's really all I wanted to share today. I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy, and safe Halloween, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I love plants. I love every kind of plants. I just wanna hug all of them, but I can't feel like every plant.